before you comment I know this product has been out for a while hey vapors welcome back to my channel today's video is all about the smoke or smock X cube ultra <laughs> Alright guys, yesterday we were taking a look at the X-Cube Ultra. This is a 220 watt mod. It's available in three different colors, black, stainless steel, and white for around $63. I will leave a link below to where you can check this out for yourself if you're interested. Here is mine. I have it in black. Here's a do not eat packet. It looks so identical to the X-Cube original, but it is actually 10% smaller. And behind the device we have... The micro USB to USB charge cord, the scan card, the battery warning card, and the user's manual. So here is the X-Cube Ultra. It is 49 millimeters by 55 millimeters by 25.5 millimeters. It takes two 18650 batteries, which are sold separately. Here is the battery door, and there's a little notch right here. You can hook it with your nail and pull so it has two magnets at the top the batteries run in series let me go ahead and put my two in when i put the two batteries in this device vibrated because it does have a vibration mode so the entire device is a zinc alloy construction in wattage mode it does go from 6 to 220 watts and in temperature mode it goes from 200 degrees fahrenheit to 600 degrees fahrenheit or 100 degrees celsius to 315 degrees celsius it can do temperature control mode for nickel titanium and stainless steel heating elements it also has tcr mode in wattage mode it can handle as low as 0.1 ohm and in temperature mode it can handle as low as 0.06 ohm so the smoke logo is on the battery door this is the fire bar this whole side is a fire bar this little part lights up i'll show you in a second we have x cube ultra 220 watt up here we have the OLED screen, the regulatory buttons, the 510 spring-loaded connection pin. On the bottom we do have battery venting holes as well as a charge port. So this has Bluetooth which can be controlled through the Vaping Tour app and you can adjust settings or upgrade the firmware via Bluetooth. It has a few protection features such as discharge protection and short circuit protection. I got my troll on top right here right now. Three clicks turns the device on. It says welcome and it vibrates. Here's the OLED screen. It displays the wattage setting, which draw mode you're in, soft, min, normal, hard, max. Uh, it has the puff counter, a working voltage, and the ohms. You can adjust the wattage up and down with the regulatory buttons. And it vibrates every time you do. But if you press and hold, it'll go fast and it won't do a stupid vibrating. I just tried to fire my troll and it's asking is new coil yes or no so yes it is because this has never been on this machine oh and now it's reading at a point one i was wondering because i was reading at a point four eight and i know this is a one ohm coil now it's reading it at 1.01 .01 ohm even though this is 10 percent smaller than the original x cube it's still very large too large for me which is one of the reasons why it took me so long to even take a look at this because it's just a huge mod and i'm definitely a more compact all-in-one vapor while you're vaping this normal turns into a seconds counter you see My bar was lighting up. You can adjust it to light up a certain color or a rainbow of colors. There's a whole bunch of different settings. Three clicks to the fire button enters the menu selection mode. You can choose Bluetooth mode, shake LED lights. You can reset the puff counter. You can go into settings or you can turn it off. So the shake option is the vibration option. So I went ahead and turned that off because I think it's kind of annoying. If you press and hold the plus and minus button at the same time, you can turn the Bluetooth on and off, so it's just like a quick menu to it. If you press the fire button and the minus button at the same time, you can switch real quick between modes, temperature, memory, or watt. If you press the fire button and the plus button at the same time, you can quickly change your draw strength from min, soft, normal, hard, and max. That was a drag on the soft setting. Clouds, bitch. And that was a drag off the hard draw setting. So there is definitely a huge vapor production difference. It's heavy. 
It's big even though it's supposed to be small. It's been out for a while. I still wanted to show it just in case some of you out there may have never heard of it before. If you have this or used it, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. I can tell you that I'm definitely going to be giving this away. Like it's not going to be one that I use personally. That's just my vaping style. But I will leave a link below to where you can check one of these out for yourself if you're interested. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join Kasa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.